Hey Village Crew, um, I want to talk for a few minutes on the biblical basis of spiritual gifts just to give you a bit of an intro into when we'll be talking about it uh, next week. Um, and so let me talk about what a spiritual gift is. A spiritual gift is what God gives us to expend, extend the work of the Holy Spirit through us. So through the spiritual gifts that we are given, God expends, extends the work of his spirit. You think about it, a camera and a camera lens. Now, if only I had my camera. <laughs> Wait, I do. So camera comes with a lens. This is a 24 to 70, but basically that means it does all your close to, to mid-range shots, right? Um, you use a different lens. You use this lens when you want to take a landscape, when you want to go really, really wide and capture a large, wide range. But converse to that, you take the same camera and you put on the beast, yeah? And you can zoom in really, really, really small to what's a long way away and bring it close. The camera's the same, the lenses change. So think about our spiritual gifts as different lenses that enable us to do and to capture and to see more things, um, regardless of the, the camera. So, so we're all cameras, but put a different lenses on us, we're able to do different things that aren't better or worse, they're just different. God wants to give you a lens that will enable him to achieve something through you that can't be achieved through anybody else. It's something unique and beautiful and personal to you. Now, Paul writes about spiritual gifts in 1 Corinthians 12. He says, Now about the spiritual gifts of the Spirit, brothers and sisters, I do not want you to be uninformed. Do not be ignorant about this. We must know and realize and spend time understanding what spiritual gifts are. There are different kinds of gifts, but the same Spirit that distributes them. There are different types of lenses, but the same camera shop that gives them, right? So the, the focus isn't here on the lens, it's on the camera shop that offers them, that God is gives us these gifts to, for us to use in particular ways. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. There are different types of photo to be taken, but they all use the same light. There are different kinds of working, but in all of them, and in everyone, is the same God at work. You see, when we use our spiritual gifts, we become uniquely entrusted to do something on behalf of God that God wants to see happen in this world. It's God at work. Our spiritual gifts are not about us at all. They're actually about God and what God wants to do. We become the wonderful recipients of this. We get to be um, used by these gifts. We become, um, these, these gifts are an expression of God's love for you and for the church that you serve in and for the world. Verse 7 says, Now to each one the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the common good. It's given for the church, it's given for society, it's given that everything is improved and becomes better and is made more healthy. And so when you think about using your gifts, your gifts and extension of the Spirit is all about good things happening and increasing measure in the world. It's not about your agenda being forwarded or getting your insecurities taken care of or, or having you helped at all. Everything the use of our spirit should improve or better or help others in the world as a result of your gift. Spiritual gifts are given so that the body of Christ might be strengthened and become more healthy because when a body is really healthy, it can make a significant positive difference in our world. And then Paul leaps into a list. It's one of four lists in scriptures. There's 1 Corinthians 12, which is what we're looking at now. There's Ephesians 4. 1 Peter 4 and Romans 12. And in 1 Corinthians, Paul says, To one there is given through the gift, through the Spirit, a message of wisdom, of knowledge, of faith, of healing, of miraculous powers, of prophecy, of distinguishing between spirits, of speaking in different kinds of tongues, and interpretation of tongues. What a list! And that's only half of it, right? There's the rest of it in those other books that I'd encourage you to, to read. God has this grand plan these things wonderful things in store for each of us to be part of with him wonderful things that he wants to accomplish through us by the gifting of us which is emphasized by the way he describes the gifts the scripture says uses these different phrases in 1 Corinthians to talk about the, the spiritual gifts it says given through the spirit by means of the same spirit by the same spirit by that one spirit all these are the work of one and the same spirit five different times it mentioned these do you think he's trying to make a point? It's the work of the Spirit that's important through our spiritual gifts. 
The gifts are a channel through which the Spirit of God can engage with the world. That's why the Spirit gifts them to us to extend the Spirit's reach into the lives of those in the church and those outside of the church. And then he, he concludes the reading. We're nearly done here. He concludes with, one, concludes with one final piece of wisdom. All these are the work of one and the same Spirit, and he distributes them to each one just as he determines. God determines who gets what gift. It's up to God. It's no good us looking at others and going, I wish I had that gift. I don't really like my gift. It, that's on God. If you've got a problem with that, you've got a problem with God. And you should go to God about that. Uh, my kids would say, you get what you get and you don't get upset. The reason they say that is because that's what we've said to them. You get what you get and you don't get upset. This is what God is saying to us. With your spiritual gifts, you get what you get and you don't get upset. All these are the work of one and the same spirit. So how do you discover your gifts? That's what we're going to plow into um, these coming weeks. We've got a survey for you to fill in. It's a tool for you to look through and work out what your spiritual gifts are, some questions to help that. We've sent it out with this video. Um, we might even attach it below, but there's these resources that you can use to identify what your spiritual gifts are and start to flesh that out and explore that process. And next Sunday, Sunday the, well, not this one coming up, but the one after, maybe the 17th or something like that, we are going to jump straight into this up until Easter. So glad you can be on board. I hope you enjoyed this video and, um, and we'll, uh, we'll pick up the conversation when we get together again.